Hello, welcome to Onetizenly. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. Ghetto is the main antagonist of the Jujutsu Kaisen series, and his character status is backed up by the powerful abilities he possesses. Jujutsu Kaisen is a new generation anime that has taken the community by storm with the potential to rival the big three of shonen anime. The anime has also introduced some of the strongest shonen characters in recent years. The likes of Gojo Satoru and Yuji Itadori have quickly become household names within the shonen demographic. However, there is another character, in the form of a very despicable villain that catches the eye and he goes by the name, Ghetto Suguru. Ghetto is the main antagonist of the series, Jujutsu Kaisen, and is a formidable Jujutsu sorcerer who specializes in cursed spirit manipulation. With the ability to consume and store curses which he can later call upon, he is an adversary many protagonists in the show are wary of. While Ghetto possesses an outstanding amount of cursed energy and strong techniques, his expertise in hand-to-hand -hand combat makes him an opponent to be reckoned with. Also, due to him being a cursed spirit manipulator, many of his opponents expect him to be something other than a competent fighter and expect him to use his cursed spirits to carry out the majority of the attacks. Ghetto makes use of this misconception about his method to surprise opponents with his skill in hand-to-hand -hand combat. For instance, Ghetto once lured an armed cursed user to get close to him in order to attack them with a combination of punches, palm strikes, and forceful chops strong enough to knock teeth out of his opponents and leave them bloodied. Even Panda, a cursed corpse that specializes in close combat, was outmatched by Ghetto in an all-out fistfight. Another example of his great hand-to-hand -hand combat skills was when Ghetto engaged Yuta and a fully manifested Rika in a close contest while armed with Playful Cloud. Aside from his great physical prowess, Ghetto possesses a large amount of cursed energy. Ghetto has one of the largest reserves of cursed energy among sorcerers in Jujutsu Kaisen, allowing him to rival the likes of Gojo and Yuta. He is renowned for having large stores of cursed energy and the ability to control thousands of curses at once as. For instance, using his cursed energy, Gudo controlled over 2,000 cursed spirits and used them to attack Tokyo and Kyoto. Ghetto is also quite knowledgeable about how cursed energy and procedures function in general. He is capable of controlling it for a variety of purposes, including disguising his leftovers or transferring energy into weapons. Additionally, he has no trouble reading the flow of cursed energy from other sorcerers. Ghetto's huge reservoir of cursed energy makes him a very formidable opponent and one that is feared throughout the series. With the aid of his high battle IQ and general intelligence, Ghetto is a master tactician and can easily outweak any opponent, even Gojo Satoru. While at Jujutsu High, Ghetto was a standout student from the beginning, even recalling important details about Master Tenjin and other facets of their assignments which Gojo would always forget. As earlier alluded to, his intelligence serves him well in battle, he consistently thinks one step ahead of his enemies. For instance, an older and more knowledgeable cursed user made an attempt to outweak Ghetto into approaching, only to fall victim to Ghetto's ruse. Ghetto was also able to briefly surprise the sorcerer killer, Toji Fushihiro, during his battle with him. He followed behind Toji, knowing that his confidence would cause him to be lax about his guard, he attempted to absorb Toji's cursed inventory in order to stop his weapon supply. Using his immense cursed energy and barrier technique, Ghetto can create a large curtain barrier, capable of expanding over acres of land. This curtain is capable of trapping anyone inside it and can keep people from outside entering it. This technique is especially advantageous to have because he can imprison his opponents and blitz them with hundreds of curses. The barrier is also invisible to outside observers, making it a very good tool for diversion. Ghetto also has the ability to use his barrier technique over a weaker sorcerer's barrier, as he did during his attempt to steal the cursed spirit, Rika, from Yuta. 
Ghetto's barrier technique is very potent, so much so, it is stated that he possesses the second strongest barrier technique in the series after Master Ten Gen. As the term implies, Ghetto has the ability to control wandering spirits. He can exorcise and consume naturally occurring cursed spirits with little difficulty as long as there is a two-level difference between him and the cursed spirit. The sole drawback to this method, despite its effectiveness and versatility, is that the cursed spirit won't get stronger after the exorcism. Additionally, once utilized in maximum Uzumaki, the weak spirits are extinguished, making it a tedious and pathetic task to travel around exorcising cursed spirits and then ingesting their black orbs, which are said to taste like a rag used to mop up vomit. This ability also extends to spirits attached to other curse users. For instance, in a bid to become stronger, Ghetto attempted to consume and control Yuta's very powerful cursed spirit, Rika. Using the cursed spirits he has amassed over the years, Ghetto is able to create an army of cursed spirits in no time and easily subdue his opponents. For instance, he was able to unleash thousands of spirits in Tokyo in order to draw the attention of the Jujutsu Sushers from Jujutsu High. Maximum, Uzumaki is a variation of his cursed spirit manipulation technique that allows him to conjure more than 4,000 spirits at them and concentrate them into a single attack. This technique was demonstrated in the Cursed Child arc of Volume 0, where Ghetto seeks to overcome Yuta in order to capture Rika by combining more than 4,000 cursed spirits. He can theoretically use both the cursed technique and the powers of the spirit he consumes at will when he utilizes maximum Uzumaki on a semi-first grade or higher cursed spirit. Consequently, this adds another cursed technique aside from his initial cursed spirit manipulation. Towards the conclusion of the Shibuya incident arc, Ghetto is shown consuming Mahito and transforming him with his idol transfiguration technique. 